Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. But when they first started, their dawah was it was sincere. You could see that it was it was some ikhlas in there. But the main thing was that even in the digital, the beginning stages of the digital dawah era, nobody was saying that these YouTube personalities were references to seek knowledge from. Nobody would, nobody even had that in their head. They weren't thinking like that. They were thinking more in the terms of, okay, well, how can I get tips to making dawah and these type, these type, these type of, okay? It was an encouragement for people to go and make dawah, and nobody's thinking about taking sides or because there wasn't any of that stuff. But my, 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 how times have changed. What we are witnessing in 2022 is, for the sake of Allah, Olympics, where everyone and their mama is refuting each other for the sake of Allah. And everyone is sincere for the sake of Allah. And everyone is advising for the sake of Allah. <clears throat> but absolutely none of it, and I mean none of it, is for the sake of Allah. You see, when people are sincere, there's a certain standard of integrity and, you could say, scruples that they have. They're not willing to lower the bar beyond a certain point. They don't just keep the bar descending and descending and descending and descending and bringing new lows in Dawah every single week. But we have reached a new low point in U2 Dawah. Things that I have never witnessed in my 30 plus years of being Muslim are now becoming the new norm. We have seen major YouTubian elites calling themselves Salafi, who built up Daniel Hakikachu. They are the ones responsible for building him up. They are the ones who widened his reach and made all kinds of ridiculous, outlandish concessions. And even to the point they threw the grassroots under the bus, backed that bad boy up, rolled over the grassroots again, put that thing back in drive, and rolled over the grassroots again, all for one man named Daniel Hakikachu. And then when they finished throwing us under the bus, they threw us under the trailer, they threw us under the train, and they threw us under your grandma's car, too, to protect one individual and each and every last one of them who was responsible for making Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster are now absolving themselves from any responsibility for their actions. Imagine that. And on the other side, you have the most outrageous, outlandish perpetrators of the enemy of my enemy. <clears throat> Can you, their men had just the enemy of my, my enemy. Their whole walawa bara, all of it. Their walawa bara is the enemy of my enemy. You get it? The walawa bara isn't for, okay, the messenger of Allah, you know, the, Allah, the messenger of Allah and the understanding of stuff. No, it's not for that. You against these YouTubians? Okay, you're my friend. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Khalas, <laughs> that's it. These people are the career YouTubians, the career YouTubian monetizers. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump.